Are Ruth and Zane responsible for the death of Lacey? This is from Tyler Perry's Ruthless, Season 4, Episode 6. Are Ruth and, La and Zane responsible for Lacey's death? What's good, I'm a Ruthless Addicts? It is your girl, Tika Deshaun. Thank you guys so much for tapping into all things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless Addicts. Alright you guys, let's just dive into it. So, we saw in the pavilion, and also on my previous video, we saw that Ruth gave Zane those keys to the medical trailer. Now, she gave her those keys after Zane made it clear to Ruth that she was okay, that she was in her right mind, that she was playing crazy, and that she was still in with her, that being Ruth, River and Jones plan to get off of the Rockadusha compound. Is she really crazy? Also, I made a, I asked a video, I also created a video in regards to whether or not Zane took that pill. So anyway, you guys, Ruth hands over those keys to Zane to go into the medical trailer. Now, if you guys have been paying attention, you'll probably know where I'm going with this message. Um, she gave her the keys to go into the medical trailer and in walks Zane. She sees her friend Lacey there laying on the table and she calls out her name. Lacey, 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 are you okay? Are you okay? And of course, it's an emotional moment for the two ladies. Um, it's also unfortunate that Lacey is still suffering and struggling and going through all of the torture, everything that is going on between her, Elder Mother Marva. She just wants to leave this life. Lacey is honestly over it. She just wants to leave the Rockadushi compound one way or another. Um, and I honestly feel that Zane going into this trailer is going to prove detrimental. But who's going to be at fault? Will it be Ruth for giving Zane that key? Or will it be Zane? Now, moving on to what Zane did once she entered into the trailer where Lacey was. So Lacey says, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, I just want some water. And so Zane gives her what she thought was water. But in actuality, the jar ends up being Elder Mother Marvel's moonshine. So Lacey spits the moonshine back out and Ruth rip and Zane is like, I am so sorry. I will get you some water. I'll be back. I'll be back. And so Lacey tells her, just look over there. Do you see any pain medicine? Do you see any pills over there? And she does. She says, does it say acetaminophen? And again, Zane says, they do. They say acetaminophen. And so she, Lacey asks Zane to give her some of the pills. Now, of course, Lacey couldn't get the pills on her own. So Zane had to pour them in her hand. And it looks as if she poured a handful of those pills into the hands of Lacey. So do you you guys, do you think that this is really going to be the last time that we see Lacey? Lacey tells Zane, don't come back. Leave the trailer and don't come back. And Zane reassures her, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. But she's telling her, don't come back because if you get caught, they're going to they're gonna kill you too. So don't come back to the trailer. But also, you guys, keep, keep thinking, Lacey has those pills. So what are her plans for those pills? Someone said that she would put that those pills in elder mother's moonshine but how could she possibly do that when she can't even stand up or get up off of the table unfortunately you guys my suspicions are that zane or that lacy 
is going to take the pills and she's going to take not just one pill but all of the pills and they are going to end her life i truly hate to say this i really we you know fought and were glad that they was back but or that lacy was back and that lacy had lived had survived uh, we were surprised that she had survived however this may be her last moment the last moment that we at least see her now there's also a moment where ever the mother marva tells someone i think she may be talking to ruth but she tells someone she is dead so is she referring to to lacy has lacy finally um um passed away as elder mother said or is it elder mother marva telling ruth that her baby girl uh callie is dead because there is an exchange between elder mother marva as well as ruth i'm confident in knowing that that is who she's talking to you guys um but as i stated earlier the question is if something happens to lacy who do you guys think would be more responsible i know that ruth I know that you know if someone takes their life it's on that person not you know unfortunately not the others around um but Zane Ruth should have I in my opinion Ruth should have never told Zane that Lacey was still alive she also should have never given her those keys I mean I kind of understand why she did it because that is her friend and maybe that could help her snap truly back into reality and continue with the plan but i honestly don't think that it was a very good idea for ruth to give zane those keys again you guys take a listen to the clip at the very beginning that i give you guys as well at the end of this video and let me know your thoughts who is elder mother marva talking to who is going to be who is going to be dead and who is going to be responsible if it's the life of Lacey that is no longer around will Ruth and or Zayn be responsible for the life of Ruth or the life of Lacey being gone you guys all right y'all well that's about it that's all I wanted to come in and chat with you guys with for today just to find out if you saw what I saw, okay? In case you missed it, all right? All right, you guys. Well, that's about it. Thank you all so much for tapping into All Things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless Addicts. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for tapping in. Um, please hit that subscribe button so that you will receive reminders as well as that notification bell so that you will receive reminders of brand new Ruthless content, okay? All right, y'all, that's about it. Thank you so much for tapping in, and you already know, stay ruthless.